In Chilean Patagonia, an expanse of land covering 163,000 hectares has been transformed into a sanctuary for South American Southern nature. The Andean mountain range crosses the territory from north to south, giving rise to a mixed and changeable climate. The peaks and westerly winds create considerable climatic differences between places located very close together. As a result, an unusual variety of plant formations proliferate with an associated fauna rich in species. It's the meeting point between the flat and extensive Patagonia and the steep one, molded by eras of glacial activity. A world of contrasts, the wild world of Torres del Paine. Located in the middle of the Andean range, the Paine Massif lends its name to the national park. The mountains, with peaks in excess of 3,000 meters, mark a dividing line which differentiates two completely different areas. To the west of the range, on the Pacific side, moisture-laden winds collide with the slopes and release their rain, which hardly ever reaches the other face. It is a cold and wet side characterized by rocks, forests, and ice. The entire relief of the Patagonian Andean range has a pronounced glacial character. Gigantic glaciers sculpted these mountains and opened up extensive valleys, where icy water lakes still remain today. The present-day ice cap is only a small reminder of what it must have been at the beginning of the Quaternary, although it still covers an area of 23,000 square kilometers. On the east slope, where rain hardly ever falls, large plains extend as far as the Atlantic, the steppe gradually transforming into quasi-desert. Thaw waters arriving from the Pain Massif irrigate both slopes. There are a multitude of rivers and large glacial lakes spread throughout the park. The proximity of the Pacific Ocean and the numerous lakes attract water birds from the Patagonian region, which form into noisy and abundant colonies. Falkland Islands and Imperial Cormorants, different species of seagulls, and a multitude of anatids feed and breed in the park's waters and its surroundings. The black-necked swan is the largest South American water bird. It spends its entire life in the icy waters of the Andean lakes, feeding on algae, insects, and an odd fry or two. From the Huasco Valley in Atacama to Tierra del Fuego, the black-necked swan is to be found throughout the southern cone of America, seeking lakes located close to the sea.
They reside year-round in Torres del Paine. They can endure the cold perfectly, and the low seasonal variations in the region mean that it is not necessary for them to migrate to other latitudes. <laughs> 